And welcome back. Restaurants are still dealing with a shortage of workers. Now some are finding opportunities to recruit more. 12 News' Dominique O'Neill looks at what this could do to impact the restaurant industry. It's going to be a great week uh, for our fourth annual restaurant week. Lots of food and activities. In downtown Hattiesburg, restaurant week is getting ready to begin October the 2nd. Marlo Dorsey is the executive director of Visit Hattiesburg. She believes Restaurant Week will attract workers. And so we know that we're dealing with a lot of staffing shortages in places, but we can't say enough great things about our hospitality workforce and just the fortitude of all of our many local restaurant owners who are doing whatever it takes to present good food and a good time here in the Hub City. In July, according to the National Restaurant Association, they said an increase of 1.3 million jobs. But despite the increase, there's still some employment levels that are below pre-pandemic levels. Pat Fontaine is executive director with the Mississippi Restaurant Association. He says the restaurant business has seen some changes on both sides. The wage issue, there's still a concern, uh, the fear of contracting uh, COVID. Still uh, a lot of federally subsidized programs out there uh, that people are receiving benefits from that uh, enable them, you know, uh, to remain at home uh, and not work. Fontaine says there are many reasons for the staffing shortages. You saw where President Biden is, is trying to implement, you know, a mandatory uh, vaccination or test negative testing policy uh, for uh, employers that have a hundred or more employees. For some people, that that uh, it will attract some and it may deter others. To assist with recruiting this year, more than 40 restaurants are expected to participate in Hattiesburg's fourth annual Restaurant Week. Reporting in downtown Hattiesburg, Dominique O'Neill, 12 News.